welcome along to the vlog. So uh, today's vlog is going to revolve mainly around applying to our local district council for the COVID-19 business interruption grant which all businesses are entitled to if they've got a rateable value below £51,000 and ours do so seeing as we have two businesses the brew shed and Harrison's Brewery they're both limited I've just put the Harrison's Brewery application through in order to make sure that there were no gremlins in the system so uh, I can record this section for you guys out there let's flick across onto a screen capture device and uh, we'll pick up the video there so here I'm booting up a Cyberlink screen recorder which you probably can't see there but if I press this button here now we are on the screen recorder and you will be able to see what we're using this is the contraption here so I'm just gonna go and uh, minimize that just check it is still recording yes indeed it is and we're gonna go to uh, Bassett Law District Council's help for businesses during coronavirus page They've got an online form here, so we can just click that. And this takes us to the business grant fund information form. And on this section, we will be going through it. So I've already read this little data protection privacy notice. So we're just going to agree to those terms and conditions there. And then we're going to move on to the next page, which will ask for some details. And uh, here we are. So we can just chuck this stuff in now, pretty much. And kind of blank a little bit of this out in post, obviously, for data protection reasons for myself. But here we go. So the business name is the Brew Shed Retford Limited. And here is the company number from company's house which a lot of this information is in the public domain anyway so there's no danger of any fraud there and also our VAT number which is also in the public domain because you have have to uh, provide a VAT receipt for any purchases that people make from you. So ours is 308 uh, 697 There we go. And then we need a business rates account number, which I have over here. Da 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 there we are and then to find out the rateable value of your property it should be on your rates thingy in my jig anyway but ours is here 11,750 so we'll pop that in and then we'll pop our postcode in and see if we can't find our address there we go 104 to 106 Carrogate and pop my phone number in there and my email address we'll just just double check everything's correct that's not quite correct that's the uh, correct name of the business there we are so that's that section and then we move into the next segment where they will ask us for some bank details of course I'm not going to share this with you but uh, we'll come to the final page when I've filled it in and there we go that is it this is the final page and we've now applied 
for a business grant from the business grant fund. So hopefully that will come into force and we should receive some money relatively quickly. Uh, also what I've been looking at is a letter for the full load employees that we have. So this will enable us to claim 80% of their wages while we retain our staff on the books, which means that they can keep their jobs. So uh, we're just making sure that we've crossed the T's and dotted the I's with all this kind of stuff. But uh, unfortunately, we don't look like we'll be getting any payments from this job retention scheme for some time, possibly even as late as May. So we're going to have to try to find the funds to pay the staff in the interim period and uh, of course that business grant will enable us to do that should it come through in time. So there we go folks, that's that part of the uh, day complete. It was relatively painless so let's hope that this grant comes through and uh, yeah, we can start to move forwards then. Anyway, let's go outside and have a look at what Reggie's doing. He's watching the chickens. Okay. Oh, he's pure mischief, that little animal. He is. Oh, let me show you something. So we found... <laughs> oh my God, Reggie. We found a strange little quirk with him. He doesn't like it if you blow raspberries. So, shall we blow a raspberry, Reg? Watch this. Have you ever seen anything like it? That's very strange, isn't it? I wonder if that's like dog language for something rather offensive. I don't know. So we went from a particularly serious subject to a rather funny and jovial one there in a matter of seconds. And here is some more of our lovely little animals. As you can see, the little chicks are thriving, the little furry golf balls, little chicken nuggets. And this is the other chick that we hatched out about 25, 26 days ago. And he seems quite content to live in the box with the other ones, the little tweeters. So we've got five in here now, including big boy. But uh, we can only see four of them because the black one appears to be hiding. Oh, there he is, look. Just poking his nose out. That's the black leghorn. We've got a white leghorn and I think two or four Pintons. And I can't remember what this chap was. He might have been a Cuckoo Moran. We'll have to watch the videos back and figure it out. But that's it, folks. I'm going to wrap it up. So, uh, a little insight there into some of the... Uh, <laughs> more, some of the detail of running a business and also a little bit of uh, an update on the animals and how they're doing. Oh, and also... Here's some more stock from the pub. We keep getting through it very slowly indeed. These need eating, they're about to go. These are bloody gorgeous, by the way. So yes, there we are. So that's me signing out. Probably do another video tomorrow, if indeed I can drum up the energy. It's not really the energy, it's, you know, because of uh, the fact that we're not at work, it becomes quite lethargic the day and uh, usually I'm drinking beer before five o'clock just to relieve the boredom as I'm sure we all are so stay safe folks and I'll show you on the next one. Cheers.